Why did the Hindenburg disaster occur? In 1937, the Hindenburg was making its scheduled landing in Lakehurst, New Jersey. It had 36 passengers and 61 crew members. And again, it was landing in New Jersey. I, I don't know why. Anyways, at the time, these flying bombs were the most elite way of travel. And only the very, very rich could do it. American businessmen in particular. 36 was actually the maximum amount of guests that Hindenburg could accommodate. And they had almost double the crew members at the time, which is just crazy. More than anything, I'm surprised the ship of supposed class was landing in the armpit of this nation. But I wasn't in charge of planning the trips. Speaking of, guess who is in charge of these flights? The Nazis! That's right. You thought this crash was a tragedy? Well, it's actually a Nazi ship. Ugh. Go America. Actually, it was really sad and most of the passengers were civilians and a lot of people died and... Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so why did this particular trip cause this flying bomb to ignite? So the Hindenburg used hydrogen as its buoyancy method. And hydrogen, if you don't know, is the lightest element on the periodic table all the way in the top left. And it's extremely dangerous if not handled correctly, which it wasn't. So the Hindenburg had gas cells in order to contain this flammable substance. And here's some foreshadowing. They didn't do it very well. Anyways, here's a picture of them. They look cool, right? So this was housed in a lightweight but strong aluminum frame. It had a total of 16 of these gas tanks and they were said to be pretty safe. So why did this hydrogen ignite? The ship came in for its normal landing. It was a rainy day and you have to remember that, it's really important. Rainy day. It dropped two extremely large mooring ropes that were then used by the ground crew to bring the ship into place so it could land. They were behind schedule by 12 hours already and the captain wanted to land as soon as possible. And they were experiencing an issue with the back of the ship being much heavier than the front. So they tried to balance it. They dropped literal tons of water out of the back and moved six crew members to the front, but the back was still heavy. So let's figure out how this ignited. Because a leak doesn't ignite itself. So in the documentary I watched for this video, it talked about how a spark could ignite the whole thing. The entire surface of the Hindenburg was like one of the strongest batteries. It had so much charge on it from all the friction and had been building up charge. Now normally, the mooring ropes acted as grounding for the frame of the ship. And luckily, the frame and the outer covering of the ship were not able to transmit a current, usually. However, with the rain, it became a disaster. The water amplified the charge, and also it was traveling over the Atlantic Ocean, so it was building up salt on the surface too. It became so huge that a spark was able to jump from the covering to the frame of the ship, igniting the hydrogen and destroying the entire thing in seconds. This left over 30 people dead. And would this have happened on a sunny day? Probably not. Oh yeah, one last thing. People ask, why didn't they just use helium? It was a lot safer, and the Germans wanted to, but America! had all the helium. And they regulated it, and the Germans didn't like being at the women of the Americans, so they used hydrogen. That's right. Who caused the Hindenburg? It was the Americans, really. Boom. Oh, you guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching my first ever one. Probably pretty terrible. I had a lot of fun making it, though. Hope you guys enjoy. If you do, subscribe and like, and I will make a couple more, maybe.